Hello there, Cancer. I'm Michelle B. And it's time for a reading for you to look into the aspects of the full moon in Scorpio coming up on April 27th, which is all about being in alignment with what is really important to you. Sometimes we can kind of go off the rails a little bit about what we really want because we want to please the people that are around us. And they're like, well, this is who you are. And this is, this is what we expect from you. And like, eventually things get kind of like every that's that's the nature of life is it of being a human is that you're constantly ascending you're constantly learning you're constantly growing and eventually you realize that your shoes are too big for your feet and you've got to make some changes in order to become in alignment with who you truly are you got to find the shoes that fit next level up right so what aspects of your life are you ready to level up in to be in al alignment with who you really are. Let's look into that, Cancer. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed, okay? Because I post videos for you. Gosh, my nose is itchy. That means there's a lot of magic happening right now. I post videos for you two or three times a week. So you, in order to be in the loop about that, I need you to be subscribed. I got a little stack of cards that came out, but I'm feeling the most in alignment with well, I mean, I'll think about it. I'll talk about them and I'll see what I want to, want to use. But first, the first one that I'm going to talk about is these three. I have a lot of motorcycles flying by right now for the weekend warriors for, um, it's a beautiful weekend here in Northwest Washington. And so people can't wait to get out and about. Anyway, this is you, Cancer, Queen of Cups, in alignment with your true self. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. And you are ready for some adventures. I think spring fever in the Northern Hemisphere has got you fired up on some ideas that you want to follow up on. I think in particular, you are kind of getting entangled with more than one person when it comes to romance with love. You're like, should I choose this or should I choose that, right? That's what that Two of Wands is all about. Should I choose this or should I choose that? And really what it comes down to is that you want to be free to do whatever you want. Um, and I don't feel like there's a lot of, if there's, I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure from somebody else to do anything. And that's a really good feeling, I think, for you, Cancer, because in the past there's been a lot of heaviness when it comes to your connections with your, uh, with your significant others, with your relationships. They were very firm, set in stone. Like if you go outside the lines in any way, outside of what your expectations are, what their, expect, what their expectations are of you, then you're in big trouble, right? But that's that's not the case with this, but there's still some PTSD there for you, and so you're kind of worried, like, if I have friendships with other people, am I putting my primary relationship on the line? If I, you know, allow myself to be free and vulnerable with other people, am I some bad guy? But I think the cards want you to know if you're wondering what's right here? What should I do? Should I let myself just go ahead and be who I want to be? Be friends with whoever I want to be friends with, be vulnerable, spend time with whoever I want to spend time with. I'm hearing that your primary partner is only going with what you think, with, with, with what you do, with what you act like. If you act like these friendships, these companions, that these other ones that you have are not a big deal and it's not going to affect your primary relationship at all your primary relationship is going to go along with that and it's not a big deal and the other like the friends if you're like this or that this or that your friends your acquaintances that you want to also be vulnerable and spend time with if you say i have my priority is my partner and this is what i'm going to do right now they'll be like hey that's cool they're not going to stop being friends with you so it's not either or I, th I feel like this PTSD is probably coming from being in relationships with very narcissistic people that wanted to keep you possessively to, to themselves. And that was very unfair for them to make you believe that that was normal or okay. That having having friends that you could be vulnerable with was was uh, was a bad thing. Like you, you can only be friends with me. I'm the only person that you can be close with. And if you try to spend time with somebody else, that makes you a bad person. That's probably what you dealt with before. And I really, I feel that definitely from this uh, page of swords. This person was, whoever you were involved with before, was really immature, um, very childish. Also, the knight, the knight of wands, they came in and, and they were like saying mean stuff. Right? They had, they had harsh words. They had a bad temper. 
and they came in and they said lot, lots of like harsh things to you and it's still like it's still lingering i really encourage you cancer in order to become fully aligned with being loving yourself for having all of this this uh diversity of acquaintances and friendships to love yourself in that make sure and do your forgiveness work and understand that in your forgiveness work that you are uh, allowed and you are supported with associated with whoever you want however you want as long as you're doing it with authenticity as long as you're not holding hiding anything okay as long as you're not suppressing aspects of yourself with anyone that you're hanging out with just be you and watch how people love you anyway and work on forgiving the, this person from the past that was very abusively narcissistic. And this is where I leave off, Cancerians. I love you. Happy full moon. And I'll see you later.